The overall management for stage 3A disease really boils down to essentially two different strategies. One is chemo radiation, and the second is um, a surgical approach in which you would either use chemotherapy or chemo radiation prior to surgery, and, and maybe in uh, some cases uh, following surgery. Uh, there's not an agreed upon standard in this regard. We've had several trials looking at the role of surgery in stage 3A disease, specifically in those patients who have N2 or lymph nodes that are positive on the same side of the tumor that reside in the mediastinum. And from these two experiences, one of which employed preoperative chemo radiation, the other employed pre, uh, preoperative chemotherapy alone, uh, the surgical arm relative to the radiotherapy arm did not show a long-term survival advantage as a result of surgery. So surgery remains controversial in this setting, uh, not to say that there aren't selected patients in which surgery should be considered, but I think they have to be very highly selected in this particular setting. Now getting back to one of the points we discussed earlier, and that's the heterogeneity of the disease. Often we'll find that patients undergo preoperative staging, which is very important. Uh, one must define the pathologic contents of the mediastinal lymph nodes prior to deciding uh, about taking that patient to the operating room. And I would say that if you can document N2 or certainly N3 disease, that the initial maneuver should not be surgical resection of that patient. However, there are patients in whom preoperative assessment of the mediastinal lymph nodes does not detect mediastinal disease, but while in the operating room at the time of resection, uh, microscopic N2 disease or unsuspected N2 disease is found. I think most surgeons, if possible, if they could do a complete resection and resect all the involved lymph nodes, I would agree that that would be the right thing to do. And in that case, uh, I think there is a clear role uh, for postoperative adjuvant chemotherapy in resected N2 disease. In consideration of postoperative radiotherapy, depending upon the nature and the extent of the N2 disease.